in Crockett. You know, I was still a kid. I was 25 years old. We got the double Charleston rib one time where one night was Charleston, West Virginia, and the next night was Charleston, South Carolina. So that was 200 miles from Charlotte to Charleston, South Carolina, 200 miles back, then 240 miles to Charleston, West Virginia in 240 in two days in the middle of working every day. And I got back from Charleston, South Carolina, and I had a cold anyway, and I woke up the next day and I'd hit the wall. And I just said, fuck, I just, I can't, I just fucking can't. I don't care what happens. They can set me on fire, fire me. I don't care. Everybody did that. Dennis used to take every once in a while, a couple of days. And finally he took forever, but everybody in the business in those days, when you worked a hundred days in a row, used to every once in a while, they would disappear for a day or two. And so I fucking told Bobby and Dennis, I said, tell them I'm fucking sick. I ain't going to Charleston, West Virginia. So the next, very next day, we're somewhere else. And Tully back, of course, now we're all good. And Tully's uh, mellowed and et cetera. But back then, Tully was an abrasive personality. And uh, the reason why is I think he was around, Flair loved him. And everybody else wasn't exactly, Arn wasn't even particularly warm on him as a person. But he was all, everybody respected him as a great wrestler. But he was abrasive. Be a bit prickish. <laughs> so when I come in the following day after I'd missed Charleston, West Virginia, Tully took it upon himself to be the locker room fucking policeman and starts browbeating me. Where were you? I said, I, I was sick. Oh, you don't think we ever get sick? We still show up. We don't. And it just, he kept on, kept on. And finally, I said, Tully, what are, are you the fucking booker? Because if you ain't the fucking booker, it ain't none of your business. And he got hot because I said that in front of the boys and he goes to slap me. But he telegraphed it, and I did a perfect John Bones Jones fucking lean back, and fucking he swung and he missed, and several people said hey, and you know, and at the same time I was not going to win that fight against Tully, but he couldn't whip either Bob Eaton nor Dennis Condry individually, much less together, and so he stormed out of the fucking locker room, and we ignored each other for a few weeks, and then everything was fine. 